All right, what's good, everybody? Like, share, subscribe. You know how we do. Get it spread. All right, this says, Wesley Snipes didn't approve of Blade and Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, he said he didn't approve because he went back and I guess he had talked with Marvel because remember Marvel was going to do everything with it, but Marvel went back with him and they talked and they were like, nah, let's not do. All right, check this. Mark chapter 10, starting at the 16th. And he took them up in his arms, put them in his hands upon them and blessed them. And when he was going forth, Unto the way, right there. You got to go unto the way that God shows you, not your way, the way God shows you. But a lot of these clowns don't do that. And because they go their way, they end up dying. Or what happens, God ends up cursing them because this earth has curses, ancient curses, because of choices that wicked men in the past made. And they fall into the same path. When they fall into that path, God leaves them that way because they don't seek. I keep telling you, you got to seek the Lord. Matthew 16, 31, you got to seek by all means, no matter what's going on in your life, you got to seek the Lord. All right, let's go. Put his hands upon them and bless them. So he blessed them. Right now, you got people who give blessings. Right now, you can bless people. You have the ability when you have full faith. You have to have. We're getting there. Hebrews 11, 1, here we come. You got to be in the right mindset, the right position, so God can give you the power to do it. God can give you power. He can make you weak. He can do anything to you anywhere at any moment. You got to be with God at all times. So the devil can't touch you because when the devil touch you, that's when he's trying to harm you. God doesn't try and harm you. It is the devil harming you. When you're sick, it's the devil. Devil. it's not god right there says it okay then let's go blessed them and when he was going forth into the way there came i running and nailed to him you got to nail to god you got to nail you got to humble yourself to god it's you got to be nailed even when you pray you got he nailed to him come on let's go let's get it done and then it says good master what shall i do that i may inherit eternal life Right there, he's asking, what do I got to get do to get eternal life? Who doesn't want to live forever? Who? Right there, that don't make sense. People, it's wickedness. Like, who doesn't want to live forever? At any given point, who doesn't? Everybody does. And Jesus said unto him and asked him, why callest thou me good? Right there. Why are you calling me good? I'm not good. I handle business. Like he's saying right there, he never said, look right there. God said he thought he was a goody two shoes. No, he never said he was good. He even told the dude, why are you calling me good? I'm not good. Jesus Christ said, I'm not good. Who's good? He said it to the guy who said, good master. He said, I'm not good because you're not supposed to idolize man. Because when you look up the man and want to say they're this and that, you want to look at the man and say they're that. No, God makes you good or not. God's this is it's God. It's only God's choice because he chooses who to be done with. And he chooses who to lift up. God chooses right there. So you didn't make yourself great. God did. So if you're okay and you look in life and you say, I'm great. And you say your life is great and you're great. Then God made you great right there in scripture. You can't say you did it. God did. And he's the only one who can say he did it. Period. No one else. So you got to keep that in mind no matter what. So you don't get pride happy. That's what happens when you don't say that because you don't get pride happy and he's in the flesh right now. So he's making sure his head ain't there. Yo, that's crazy. Well, it asked him, why callest thou me good? There is none and but one that is God, God in heaven that no in heaven is not there, but it says God. He's talking about God in heaven, not big G. Okay. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness right there that's what they're doing when they're talking about other gods you're bearing false witness you're telling you witness something in the spirit or something that was really a, a fallen angel or a spirit a wicked thing it wasn't god if you're talking about something that's not jesus christ right there by scripture and it says commandments do not commit adultery do not kill do not steal do not bear false witness do defraud not defraud not that means trick not like they're doing they're telling people other things no they, like the dudes in the greek thing they're telling them uh, something else happened when they did it was <laughs> come on now honor thy father and mother and he answered and said unto him one thing thou lackest he said hold on you lack something he's telling what does he say you lack go thy way treasure in heaven whoa go thy way sell whatsoever thou hast and give it to the poor 
and thou shalt have treasure in heaven right there. When you're giving what you have on earth to others, when you have, when they have little or something, you gain treasure in heaven right there. That's how you can directly gain it. Now understand, you're gaining it by your behavior, but that's another way you gain it right there. Number two, mark that. Now you learn right there. The second way you gain it is by giving physical items like prop things that when you profit a lot and you have extra, you give it to people who are lesser than you so they can have. You gain treasure in heaven that way. That's right there by scripture. And came take up the cross. So take up the cross. But then understand, you can do that. You can give money. You can be very wealthy and give money. But you got to take up the cross of God. You got to say, all right, Jesus, I'm going to follow your way. You shall direct thy path. Come on now. You got to follow it that way afterwards and before in order to get blessed. You don't get blessed for doing it. You get blessed for you following the way of God after. Right there by scripture. I don't, pastors don't say that. And follow me. And so and follow me. <laughs> all praise and he was sad at that saying and when he was sad yo he was sad understand yes he was sad too he, did, he gave up his precious position but he was sad i would be sad i would say he was sad come on now he was sad at that saying because he was like man i gotta give up my stuff here everything i got here just to be good up in heaven like he's like why would i lose all that just to be good in heaven he's like that's a loss that's a big loss guy like right there we feel that way so that we no one can say no one's ever felt that way we all feel that way right there by scripture come on now you guys gotta read it and went away grieved for he had great possessions and jesus looked round about and saved unto his disciples how hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And they were they were astonished out of measure, saying among themselves, who then can be saved? Right there, I agree. Don't you agree? Everyone, oh, I'm messing up. I hate when the camera does. All right, like, you got to think about it. I understand, like, understand, they're talking about everybody we feel that way like oh some people right now when i said it walked away like ah like yeah 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 but check check this check hold on it says though and they were astonished out of measure saying among out of measure they were like oh, what they were like what no way saying among themselves who then can be saved and jesus looking upon them saying with men it is possible but not but it would he said to them hold on and Jesus looking upon them saith with men, it is po impossible, but not with God right there. When you have God, he makes it possible. He provides. Listen, he have you give up what you got and give you twice that. God will provide. For the wicked people, he will provide death. Look, they play with you and play with eat. They play with their life. People play with their life until it's gone. So when somebody's life is gone, can they play? They're dead. What are they playing? They're in a casket. They're gone. That's why you don't play with God or his people because you go to hell and then they'll be dead and gone. And you're like, whew, that was annoying. That's why you turn the other cheek at all times. God's telling you right here, it gets deep by all measure. That's the measure of what he said, your precepts, your commandments. He just said it. Yo, hold on. Let's go. It's right there before you, right? It's all in your face. And I follow thee. And Jesus answered and said, verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or brethren, or lands, for my sake, in the gospels, but he shall receive on hundredfold, how, now, in this time, houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the world, to come, eternal life, right there, yo, when you go through all your persecution, you go through all you're dealing with, all the bad stuff, you go through, you're fighting for your consolation to gain eternal life, like, that's what I'm saying. People play like you got to do go through tribulation when you go through it and you follow the precepts, you follow God, you gain eternal life right there by scripture off the rip. Come on now. Let's get it. And then you guys got to read Mark 10, uh, chapter 31. I mean, chapter 31, then verse 52, 30. Oh, excuse me. Chapter 10, verse 31 to 52. You got to read chapter 10, verse 31 to 52. I'm going to read 47. And when he heard that it was Jews, uh, that Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out right there and say, watch, and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me right there. Yo, guys, Dragon Ball Z, when they're screaming, that's blasphemy. They're like, ah, they're, they're crying out. 
They're crying out to what? They're looking up crying out to who? They're crying out, out to God blasphemy. They're looking up in the sky. Yo, show me Goku not looking up in the sky crying. He's crying out right there. You're supposed to do that to God. And God comes to you. He has your back right there by scripture. He does. He has you in every way, shape, and form. He has you through. And remember, it's to the eternal life. That's why you deal with it. Yo, let's go. Even no matter how bad. Watch, watch, watch. Yo, it's crazy. Because here, here's the go. Now, Lamentations, chapter 3, starting at the 33rd. Okay, let's get it. It says, For he doeth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men, to crush under his feet all, all the prisoners of the earth. Right there. He's not doing things to do anything to you. But look, 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 check, check, check. Check this again. For he doeth not afflict, not afflict. He doesn't do the affliction. That's Satan. It's, it's the deceiver. He's afflicting you. But God's sitting there leading you, keeping you through all ways. It's not the deceiver. Come on now. It's not God. You guys blame God. It's not God. Right there by scripture, it's not God. Willingly, willingly. He does, And he don't, yo, word play. And willingly, he doesn't. Remember. He doesn't willingly do it to you. You cause it to happen because you're sin. He he just wordplay. He said, I don't, I'm not the one doing it, but I'm but if you sin, I'm doing it. Right there. Yo, that's crazy. Huh? What? What? Or nor agree the children of men to crush under his feet all the prisoners of the earth, to turn aside the right uh the night the right of a man before the face of the most high. To subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approveth not. Right there. When somebody's lead to their own cause, say, I'm going to do what I want to do no matter what. You don't chase after them. You let them go. You let them do it. You just, you tell them, let them go. Right there. If they don't listen, let them go. You ain't got to keep fighting with them. Go. Okay. All right, man, go ahead. Let them go and do what they want to do because that's hellfire. Okay, let's go. The subvert. Subvert is the change of way to turn and go the other way that God told you to. Watch, watch. Come on, come on. Check it. Of his cause, the Lord approveth not. He says, don't chase him. Who is that, saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not, out of the mouth, the most high, proceedeth not evil and good? He's like, look, do I know good or do I know better or not? He's saying, when you read this, do I know better or not? He knows better. He's trying to tell you. Come on now. Wherefore of his sins, let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. Right there. That's what you got to do. That's what we all do. What are we doing here? What are we all doing right now? Come on now. How is this fake? How is this fake? It's not. It's not. Come on. They're crazy. We getting it. We getting it, son. We getting it. And they getting it as well. Come on now. For a sense, let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. Let us lift up our hearts with our heart without without rebellion. Hold on. No, hold on, no, no. No, no, no. Hold on. Because that's I skip I'll go. I went too far. Too far. Hold on. Hold on. Turn again. Hands unto God in the heavens. We have transgressed and have with anger and persecute persecuted us. We persecute each other. We're persecuting each other. Yo, that's what I'm ending. Beef between them. They're persecuting each other. You got to stop. Yo, that's what they just did. That's why, I'm, that's getting them in. Like, why are you persecuting them? For what? They're, they're minding their business. Stop. Like, why are you bothering them? You're bothering them. Why? You're, you're, you have a, you have a wicked spirit. You got to get it out. Come on now. By scripture. Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. Let us lift up our heart with our heart without hands unto God into the heavens we have transgressed dressed even without your hands lifted look to God in heaven right there let's go we have transgressed and have rebelled so we rebelled against God like Satan did we you copy Satan we all copycatted Satan all of us we copycatted him and rebelled thou has not pardoned oh right there what like put it this way if you turn to Satan and rebel, you're not pardoned. God didn't die on the cross for you. Right there. If you didn't, 
If you're not following Jesus Christ, he didn't die on the cross for you. Right there. So if you're not following Jesus, he didn't die on the cross for you. People think they're shunning the Jesus. No, if you're not following him, then it's not for you. So he did he doesn't want you. Right there by scripture. Yo, right there, nigga. What? Wesley getting it, my nigga. You getting it. That's crazy. And if yo, Wesley, get yo, what? Huh? Huh, man? What? Thou has covered. What? What? <laughs> All praise the most I got right there. So people think they're getting over on God. Like, like I'm not following you. He's like, uh, then you're not who I died for. He's, he's like, I died for specific people. He's like, they're like, uh, look, uh, 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 I'm not. They think they're, yo, that's why they're doing the wink. That's why they're doing the, yo, they think they're getting over on God. But they are tricking themselves because God's like, okay, then I didn't die for you. Like, you weren't the one I died on the cross for. He knows who he died on the cross for. They literally are not who he died on the cross for because they didn't follow him. And because they chose that way, they're going to go to hellfire. They're a prisoner. They're, what else do they go? They can't lift themselves up anywhere because devil can't even do it. Satan's swimming around as a serpent. He can't do nothing. That's crazy, yo. Hold on, man. Because we, oh, thou has covered, hold on. Thou has covered with anger and persecuted us. Thou has not pity. Right there, he didn't pity us. He gave us all the same equal chance. He didn't pity none of us. He gave us the same equal chance, hardships. We all had hardships. Whoever finds them, finds them. And we all had it, period. Right there, everybody's equal. Thou has covered with anger and persecuted us. Thou has slain. Thou has not pity. Thou has covered thy, thyself with a cloud. That our prayer should pass through. Thou has made us as the off scourging, off scoring, scourging, and re refuse in the midst of the people. All our enemies have opened their mouths again, thus to us, against us. Fear and a snare is come upon us. Desolation and destruction, my eye runneth down with rivers of water for the destruction of the daughter of my people. Mine eye trickle, trickleth down and seeth it not without any intermission till the Lord took that look down and behold from heaven. Mine eye affect, afflict, oh, what? Affecteth mine heart because of all the daughters of my people. Mine enemies chase me sore like a bird without cause. They have cut off my life in the dungeon. And the dungeon and <laughs> and the dungeon oh nah uh -huh. and the dungeon and has and dash a dash a stone upon me waters flowed over my head when I said I'm cut off I called upon my name O Lord out of the low dungeon thou hast heard my voice hide not thine ear not my breathe, my, my breathing at my cry. Thou, thou drewest near in the day that I call upon, upon thy, thou saidest, drewest, thou saidest, not, fear not, fear not right there. The, the devil tries to put fear in situations. Yo, dudes be scared. They be scary. They be real weird. Like, they'll be scary in situations, but then tough enough. To, like, it's wickedness. Like, they're trying to be evil. Like, you'll be a, a believer. They're tough against you. But then real monsters come. They're scared. Like, that's why you got to trust in God. God knows all things. Remember, he ripped the mountain out the ground and threw it. Like, this is what I'm saying. He's really with us. Watch. That's crazy. And that's why you trust in God. Because destruction is God. Like, when these people get destroyed, like, what do they do? What do they do in a time of destruction? If they don't pray, what do they do? What are you going to do if you're not going to pray? What are you going to do? Defend yourself? Do something when destruction comes? You can't. It's going to be spiritual. If it's spiritual, how are you going to beat it? Be without Christ. That's why we're trying to tell people it's spiritual. You can't beat it. What do you do? It's not a, a fight. You can physically fight. It's in the spirit. You need God. And he's coming to, to take us, to protect us. People got to know him and accept him if they want protected. Right there. Let's go. He said, the daughter of my people. And he said, hold on. Daughters of my city, my enemies chase me sore like a bird without cause. They, they're doing it for no reason. They're going to chase you. With, they're after you for no reason. They're just trying to do it in wickedness because you're you. And we're going to get to that because it's deeper. And we're going to, FNAF comes in. Yo, let's go. 
mine eye trickleth down and sees him not without any intermission till the Lord look down and behold from heaven. Mine eye afflicted, affected mine heart because of all the daughters of my people. Mine enemies chase me sore like a bird without cause. They have cut off my life over mine head. Then I said them cut off. I called upon thy name, O Lord, out of the low dungeon. Thou hast heard my voice. My voice hide not thine ear. Cut cut my breathing at my city. Thou drewest near in the day that I called upon thee. Thou saidest, Fear not, O Lord. Thou hast lead, plead, pleaded the causes of my soul. Thou hast redeemed my life, O Lord. Thou hast seen my wrong. Judge, judge thou my cause right there. Lord, please judge me righteously because we want God to judge us righteously. So, Lord, judge me before you see me so I understand what I'm doing so that when you see me, you're pleased right there. You want God to lead you so he can judge you as you live now. So when you see him, you're you're approved and you're looking good and you don't go to the vents. So if you're not listening to him now, when you see him, it's nighty time. It's bad. It gets all bad. And that's what I'm saying. It, if it gets like, come on now. And then it goes into the, yo, it goes into, hold on. The lips of those that rose against me and their device, judge their device um, against me, call the day. Behold, they're sitting down and they're rising up. I'm their oh, music right there. And that's what's coming, nigga. That's what's coming. You think it's so, nigga, I got it coming. I got it on deck. It's coming. That's what I'm saying. The music to God is power. And I always did my stuff that way. That's what I'm saying. I had to cut off people because I couldn't do that with them because they didn't want to do music for God. They didn't like God like that. So I couldn't even do it with them. I was thinking with God, they didn't think that way. So God said, move over here, son. So I moved over here and I started doing my thing. That's why I had to get focused because when God leads you and it's going to be lit and you guys think that I'm not going to rock with people that see me speaking, yo, nigga, they're going to step up and do the same thing. We're going to get it rocking. You think we playing nigga it's time to praise god everywhere it's time to praise god stop playing time to praise god cut the games time to praise god okay praise god the most high god now right now okay you hear me everywhere time to praise god cut the games we ain't playing and that was into lamentations four now right here i got it now watch the lord have poured out his fierce anger and have kindled a fire in Zion, and it have devoured the foundation thereof right now. I'm not playing. My brother, when you see it, go support Adef and his whole mission and what he got going will restore order. Go support it. Go get a ticket. Check it out right now. Go check it out. You're going to see the fire and hunger in their eyes. All those people that get up on that station, they're hungry. They're working hard. They're doing what they got to do to be great. That's why you got to support them, and we're going to get it rocking. Trust me. Go support them. It's the, Come on. Y'all got it. Let it be known. Let it be known you support your brethren and your children of Israel that's putting in work that are fellow brethren and sisters as you. Let them know that. Do their thing and get ready to defend for the most high God. Let's go. We ain't playing. Now, time for the crux. We ain't playing. Because, yo, look, do you think we playing? We ain't playing. Time for the crux. Time. Because this gets crazy. Now, here we go. Isaiah chapter 26 into Isaiah chapter 27. Let's go, West. What we got? Let's see. Wow. In trouble have they incited the, they poured out a prayer when they chastened was upon them when the chastening was upon them like as a woman with a child that draw near the time of their delivery is in pain right there we're always in pain especially my brother we go through so much some of these dudes ain't never have no pain they had they were in a school with a lollipop getting lunch like all the time we were in pain around the corner running into trouble People trying to chase us. Things happening. People with weapons. We went through it all. We looked through life and death. They never did. That's why they're going to go to hellfire and then they're going to go through death because they didn't know what, what seriousness was. They took life for a joke right there. That's why you take life serious and trust in God. And remember, we're at Isaiah 26, chapter 26, starting at the 16th. That's where we're at. You can check the 15th too. Let's see. Let's see. And cry out in her pangs. So have have been in thy sight O lord we have been with a child we have been in pain we have as it were brought forth when we have 
not wrought any deliverance in the earth. They think they're going to get delivered in the earth. Yo, that's what a dude said to me. He said, I'm going to go ahead with my son. But, dog, you, there's no deliverance. How are you getting delivered in the earth? What's going to de deliver you when the times of trouble come? And you're like, oh, I just live here. But what if you're, everything you got's destroyed? What are you going to do? You'll just be looking for something else and just calmly, quietly go away? No, you're going to be mad. That's why you got to find God, the most high God. It's not me doing something different. I'm trying to be out serious. And that's the thing. People, if you know me, dog, you know. This is how serious I be because it's really serious. It's not a joke. Wickedness is coming. Wickedness is really here, bro. It's here. That's what the problem is. That's what we're fighting against. That's why my team is ready. It's not a game. I'm telling you the truth. It's a fact. Let's get it. Cry out in pains. So have we been in the, thy sight, O Lord. We have been with a child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth when we have not wrought any deliverance in the earth. Neither have, have neither have the inhabitants of the world fall. Boy. Neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. So they're not in hell yet. You're not in hell yet. You're not in pain yet. You're not with the angels of darkness yet. You're not seeing Satan yet. You're not burning up yet. You're not with the worms yet. You're not down there yet. Begging for life yet. Trying to struggle to breathe yet. Trying to do what God says yet. Like you're in God's earth. You're not even listening to God. You're not without God yet. Yet. You're not yet. So don't act like you know what it is. You don't. You've never been to hell yet. A lot of you have never ever been there. Some of you came back from life. But God, that was just for life. You came back. Follow the most high God by scripture. Stop trying to do what you want. Stop doing what you think is right. Follow what God says is right. Stop trying to think you know it. You got to stop, man. You got to follow God. You got to give up following your ways and give it to God. Neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. The, thy dead men shall live together with my dead body. With, the, with my dead body, all oh, praise the most high God. He said, they'll live together with my, they'll raise from the dead because the righteous are going to raise with God. And then he's going to say, you're going to see your dead righteous family get, did I say that? Did I say your dead family waiting for you that were righteous, that passed? They're waiting for you, okay? Right there in scripture. So right there before everybody says it. Thy dead men shall live together with my dead body. Shall they arise and awake and sing ye that dwell in the dust for the, the devils as the dew of herbs. Right there, all do. What did I say? All do. Right there. Of herbs. You're, the herbs. He you said, you're going to get this work. You're going to get this heat. That's what I'm saying. They're going to get this heat. Herbs got spiced. You're going to get this heat. You got problems? You're going to get this spice. All the spice, they're being spicy to us while we're living. When we go, you're going to get the spice when Jesus Christ returns. All the heat you want, you get it right there. All the heat you want. They want to want to talk about hell like they go. No, he controlling. You want to talk about hell, hell like you know? No. Now you'll get the heat for real. Go to hell. Yo, we're getting to what I'm trying to tell you. Let's go. All praise the holy. Yo, we're getting there. I'm about to tell you it. Hold on. I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. It's coming. It's really coming. It's about to be done. It's about to be a knockout. Watch. It's crazy because these dudes are weak. Like, I mean, they don't do nothing, but I do something and it's a problem. Like, you know, the devil's a liar because Satan's about to die. He's scared. He's weak because I don't do nothing that people do to me. But watch, I'm going to be there judging too. And I'm going to point at you and say, go to hell. Like, yo, I'm going to get the vengeance with their spirit. I'm going to point at their spirit. And we're going to, like, I'm going to laugh at their spirit and say, yo, watch. When they think, they think now, like, I'm, I'm chill. You know what? I'm chill to it. Because when their spirit leaves that body, I'm going to look at their spirit. And I'm going to point at their spirit. And I'm going to say, go to hell with my God. Because I stood for him. They're going to know. Because I'm like, God, look. God's like, be patient. Be patient. I'm like, God. I'm like, God. I'm like, man. God. I'm like, God. I'm like, like, because he's like his son, you know, crying out. I'm crying out like God says. Look, I'm crying out to him. And uh, God, I'm calling him in justice. I'm like, God, look. I'm saying, God, look, I'm going to pray. I said, look, I'm going to do your will. You don't cry out and say, look, God, it's your fault. You don't do that. You say, look, God, I love you. God, look, I know you got me. God, look, I'm like, I'll be like, yo, sometimes I'll be like, God, I know you got me. Look, I love you, Lord. I, I love you. More. Like, yo, I'll be like, Lord, I got, like, you got to talk to God with respect. Give him respect. You know, put respect on my name. Give God respect. 
You don't cry out. Dudes cry out like, oh, I hate you. I no, no, no. You cry out and say, God, I love you. Lord, keep me. You go to, Lord, I know you're letting this happen for my tribulation. I need you. I need you on my side. Lord, I love you. Always be with me. Lord, don't let me go. Lord, please don't take the will just any time. Take it all the time. Not just any times of, times of trouble. Take the Lord will. Lord, take the will all the time. Period. That's how you got to cry out. And you cry out in joy. You do it in joy. Like, I love you, Lord. Come on. You don't do it like that other way. Because that dampens and curses you. You got to stop. You got to call out to him with respect. These dudes don't got respect for God. Why? He always keeps you. He wakes you up every day. They, yo, he still wakes these dudes up that go against him. Why? Yo, they would have died if he didn't wake them up. Why do they not give respect? It's God. Come on now. It's God. Like, come on. What is wrong? I'm confused. Now watch this. It says. Dirt show cast out the dead. Come, my people. Enter thou into the, thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself for behold the lord cometh out of his place to punish thy inhabitants of the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain and that's what i'm saying they're coming back and that day the lord with his sore and great and strong sword so shall punish leviathan that crooked serpent and he shall slay the dragon that us in the sea in the days saying ye. Did I say they're going to sing? Saying he water it. Saying he unto her a vineyard of red wine. Right there he's treading the wine press. So that means he's coming back. Slay. Then I say he's coming with a sword to hurt something. You guys, yo, y'all don't read. I told you he's coming to hurt something. Y'all don't listen. God's coming back to hurt some. Did I, yo, remember that thing? The, the lion like man, the zoo lion like man, and the lion, he just took out the dragon, the serpent. The, 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 yo, what's up? God is the real savage. What's up? What up? Who got a problem with God? Say it. Yo, go. Go. Go ahead. Say it. Yo, go. Say it in your mind. Yo, say it anywhere. Yo, go. These dudes are wicked. Say it to God. He woke. Yo, these dudes are ruthless to die. They want to go to hell. Why? We love, like, don't you love God? He woke me up. Why don't you love him? Come on, man. Like, yo, guys, you gotta, and that day sang ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it. I keep it. I will, I will water it every moment, lest any, any herb, lest any hurt it. I will keep it in night, at night and day. Fury is not in me. Who would set the briars and thorns against me in battle? I would go through them. I would I would burn. Oh, pray as well as I got. Jesus Christ right now. I would burn. I would burn them together. Or let him make peace with the with thee. And he shall. He shall make peace with me right there. When you make peace with Jesus, you make peace with God. You're good with Jesus, you're good with God. Right there is by scripture. You're good with Jesus, you're good with God. Right there. What? Is, how is this confusing? He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root right there. My brother, get ready. We're going to take root. Let's get it. Check it. Israel shall blossom and bud. And fill the face of the world with fruit right there. Right there. You got to read Isaiah chapter 27, verse 7 to 13. I'm going to read 8. And measure when it shooteth forth. Thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth his rough wind in the day of the east wind. Right there. When it comes time and Satan's trying to strum up a different force to come up and change something. You're going to stay with Jesus Christ and you're going to proclaim it. 
as I'm trying to say. Support my brother. Check the the event right in the comments. I'm going to try and repost it. Go ahead. Support what he's doing. That's what we got to do. We got to support the growth and the stance of that people are taking against Satan. When they're taking a stance against him, support it. Because it's the devil. All that stuff is demonic. And we're really supporting it to keep it down. And wickedness is what we're facing because of the evil that's going on. Trust in Jesus Christ. The wickedness is going to perish. It's going to perish. Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Do the readings. So you stay up on it. Stay up with God. All praise the most high God. Dope stuff. Wesley Snipes. That's the it.